Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play you the Game of Thrones. <laughs> Now, Game of Thrones, uh, it was one of the biggest TV happenings of uh, recent decades and uh, I think this is a great theme, uh, written by uh, Ramin Jawadi um, and he based his tune apparently on a, um, a traditional Afghan Rebab melody. What I'm going to give you is a slightly uh, squared off and simplified version because if you listen closely to the original then there's a lot of tricky little bits which in terms of uh, performance are not strictly necessary, shall we say. Um, I've played this a lot in, um, in public and I have to say in all my years of playing to uh, not really listening pub audiences, this number is by far the, the one that has created the most impression on people, <laughs> particularly at the height of Game of Thrones a few years ago. And, um, I'll still remember the very first time we played it. We were in a pub where we'd been playing for years and years on Sunday evenings and um, everyone was chatting and no one was paying very much attention and for the first time we played Game of Thrones and the place, it was electrified and people came running in from the garden to hear us playing this tune and I was so excited to be playing it. So, um, even though this it, it's well past its best now, particularly after the uh, disastrous final uh, few episodes of Game of Thrones, um, I think it's still well worth learning. So I'm going to show you this slightly simplified version. Let's start off with the intro, which is eight bars. Um, so we're playing in C minor, and you're starting off with your third finger on the G and the C. Basically the same um, little phrase going from C minor to C major. And then it's into the kind of swelling melody on C minor. So let me show you this. One, two, three, two, two, three. Basically we are playing the melody and the backing and kind of weaving in and out because on the original the melody keeps on going and the backing keeps on going but we are doing a bit of both because this does actually work as a, a solo fiddle thing to some extent and I did do a, a, sol a solo fiddle version of this at a Christmas party for what, what is probably Britain's equivalent of the House of Lannister but I'll go, I'll go no more uh, into, into it than that. Um, B section, uh, we're going down to the key, uh, to the A flat chord. Thank you. 
So that's the B section. Um, I when I play this with the band, we do this three times round. So it's the intro, then the A B A B A B. Um, when you come back to the A, you can do that up an octave. for the B section and I do find at the very end uh, rather than fading out as the original does a sudden stop is very effective and uh, thunderous applause will often uh, occur <laughs> let me go through this uh, twice with the backing um, I hope you find this useful and enjoyable I hope you are uh, able to amaze your friends uh, and uh, damn your enemies with this tune and um, if you'd like a copy of these dots then do subscribe and send me an email I'll see you again soon <laughs>